Hi folks, this is Jay. Uh, we're doing um, Ignatius, uh, looking at what we can learn about the historical Jesus. Excuse me. And we're looking at uh, the letter to the Smy Neans, I think it is, or Nereans. And um, just a few information about um, Ignatius. <coughs> Uh, w. R. Schodel comments on the recensions of Ignatius in the Anchor Bible Dictionary, uh, page 384. Eusebius in Ecclesiastes 3.36 places Ignatius martyrdom in the reign of Trajan, A.D. 68 to 117, and the date in the second half of Trajan's reign or somewhat later seems to fit the letter of the conditions reflected in the letters. Arguments are still advanced, notably by Jolly in 1979, that call into question the authenticity of these documents. But re researches of Zan 1873 and Lightfoot in 1885 and 1889 and their followers continue to dominate the scholarship. Thus the authenticity of what is not often nor misleadingly called the Middle Recension is generally accepted. By the same token, the so-called Long Recension is usually regarded as a 4th century. Um, revision consisting of interpolations into the original letters and in the addition of six spurious letters. Uh, so that's just a little bit of information on textual criticism and uh, so we're going to just read a teeny bit of Smyr Neans if I can pronounce it So uh, Ignatius writes, Thank to God for your faith. Glorify God, even Jesus Christ, who has given you so much wis such wisdom. For I have observed that you are perfected in an immovable faith, as if you were nailed to the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, both in the flesh and in the spirit, and are established in love through the blood of Christ, being fully persuaded with respect to our Lord, that he was truly of the seed of David according to the flesh, and the Son of God according to the will and power of God that he was truly born of a virgin was baptized by John in order that all righteousness might be fulfilled by him was truly under Pontius Pilate and Herod the Tetra nailed to the cross for us in his flesh of this fruit we are by his divinely blessed passion that he might set up a standard for all ages through his resurrection to all his holy and faithful followers whether among Jews or Gentiles in the one body of his church so you can't get a clearer statement there I think of the historical Christ in that it's clearly saying that Christ died and rose again very clear that he doesn't believe in visions or anything like that um, in chapter 2 he says he suffered about Jesus all those things for us and he suffered them really and not in appearance only that's in chapter 2 in chapter 3 he says, For I know that after his resurrection also he was still possessed by flesh. Uh, in his epistle of in the epistle of Ignatius to Phil Philadelphians, he has But to me Jesus Christ is in the place of all that is ancient, his cross and death and resurrection and the faith which is by him. So it's very clear that the early church fathers believed in a little left death and resurrection of Jesus. Okay, thank you for listening and take care.